We're going to start, though, with the major news concerning Yorkshire. They have been deducted 48 points from the 2023 County Championship and fined £400,000, of which 300000 is suspended for two years for their handling of the Azim Rafiq racism scandal. They've also been deducted four points for the 2023 T20 Blast. An independent cricket discipline commission panel has decided the punishments after Yorkshire admitted to four charges following the conclusion of an ECB investigation. The panel had considered evidence against six respondents, Matthew Hoggard, Tim Bresnan, John Blaine, Michael Vaughan, Richard Pyra and Andrew Gale. In respect of each of them, apart from Vaughan, the panel found certain charges against them were proven. Gary Balance had previously admitted the charges brought against him. Well, this is what the points deduction has done to the County Championship Division 2 table. Yorkshire would have had an outside chance of promotion before the deduction, but this sees them sent to the bottom of the league. There is, of course, no relegation in County Championship Division 2, though. Yorkshire also had points deducted from this season's T20 blast. They failed to qualify for the knockout stages, though. Well, Yorkshire, who have accepted the sanctions, said this. We are disappointed to receive the points deductions, which affects players and staff at the club who are not responsible for the situation. They have worked tirelessly on and off the field to rebuild Yorkshire into an inclusive and welcoming club that reflects the communities it serves. Greater clarity over our situation will allow us all now to look ahead. They go on to say, there remains much to do, but we have made significant investments to put in place best practice processes and procedures, as well as driving equity, diversity and inclusion through a new framework and taking important steps to improve the match day experience to encourage greater inclusivity and tackle discrimination. Well, the ECB released a lengthy statement on the sanctions. This is attributed to their CEO, Richard Gould. These were serious charges relating to racism over a prolonged period. There can be no place for racism in our game and the penalties announced by the Cricket Discipline Commission mark the end of a thorough disciplinary process. No one should have to experience what Azim Rafiq went through in cricket and we once again thank him for his courage in speaking out. Since this hearing took place, the Independent Commission for Equity in Cricket has published its report, which demonstrates just how much there still is for our game to do in order to stamp out discrimination and become the inclusive sport we all want it to be. We must work together as a game to learn from the events that led to this case and to respond thoroughly to that report. We recognise that Yorkshire County Cricket Club has made significant progress since Azim came forward, first under Lord Patel's leadership and since then under its current management and is committed to becoming an inclusive club. They have set the club on a path to a much brighter and more inclusive future and we will continue to support the new leadership at Yorkshire to build on the progress made so far.